Hello, last week I coded this thing and yesterday this thing and today I'll just be combining them into one thing. So um, let's go back here and we just uh, copy paste that SVG part. Now let's go back and take from the CSS, just take this uh, whole path and uh, copy paste it right here. Now let's uh, maximize this and let's add dimension which is 100 we should start seeing something right now okay now let's remove that fill we won't be needing it and let's tweak the view box so uh, the top left offset is going to be 0 and 0 and the dimensions are going to be 1 and 1 along the two axes let's tweak the dimension here as well and now that we've done this oh Chrome has been doing this all morning so I'm really hating it okay so um, now let's change the offset right here um, and we'll be using 0.25 and 0 um, and we should start seeing something and let's make this 0.5 and in general everywhere where we have multiplication with uh, this uh, dimension uh, we can just uh, remove it um, also here let's just uh, replace it with one and we don't have anything depending on it so you can just uh, remove it from there now also here we can just uh, remove that interpolation because uh, we don't need it so uh, yeah here as well okay um and something else i can also do oh sorry no like this and here and here and go all the way to the end and just uh, remove those and now i still have the sh same shape but uh, it's a lot less code now i can just uh, collapse that i won't be needing it anymore um and take this path uh, and let's uh, do this uh, breathing animation so uh, let's change this to the same uh, duration as before and here we have keyframes uh, breathe and let's collapse this box let's collapse the body uh, and here let's take these uh, percentages and we'll be using them right here okay so this is include um, zero so uh, no nothing um, and um, also for half that percentage, um, we'll be having exactly this uh, value right here. Okay, and at the end for 100%, we have it for minus one. So, um, something like this. Okay, so now that we've done this, um, we'll be using this path inside a clip path. So, um, just take it clip path, um, paste the path inside, give this clip path an ID, uh, change uh, the units, so clip path units, uh, this is object bounding box, okay, uh, and now apply this uh, clipping path on our box, so uh, Let's do just that. Clip path URL. Uh, use that ID. Uh, and we should start seeing some results. But uh, it's way too small uh, horizontally. So let's expand it horizontally. And let's make it uh, double. Um, and let's fix uh, the horizontal offset here as well. Um, and this should do it. This should uh, give us what we want. Come on, start the animation. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is uh, the animation we wanted. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to put out more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can, please consider supporting my work. You can do it in one of the ways explained in the description below. With a donation, there's a donation link there. Or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. There are two links in the description as well.
Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool that, you know, we're doing all these uh, independent transforms animated independently uh, with Houdini or that we can change uh, the path from the CSS. I think that's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.